Hey folks, now we all know that mistakes were made in China and the way religious people were treated, you know, especially during the Cultural Revolution with the Gang of Four. A lot of the way that people who practiced their religion were treated was just wrong. And it wasn't just Muslims, it was, you know, Roman Catholics, Buddhists, other religious groups in China faced, you know, mistreatment by the Chinese Communist Party. And the Chinese Communist Party has been very, very open about the mistakes that were made during that time, and they've tried to correct them. And, you know, that's not to say that there aren't mistakes that still go on, right? And that, that the issue of how religion is treated in China is constantly in flux. Uh, we've recently seen a rapprochement between the Vatican and Beijing and, uh, you know, some friendly relations established there. Uh, but regardless, there are a lot of forces that are talking about what's going on with the Uyghurs in China. And a lot of what they're saying can't be confirmed, right? A lot of these reports that we're seeing say a lot of really, really intense things, but if you dig a little bit deeper, uh, the only source is some think tank or some institute or some policy source that's linked to Saudi Arabia. We're seeing a lot of personal accounts from people. People are saying, well, I was here, I saw this, and they're all over Western media making their claim. And if you look a little deeper, these are people that are just anti-China activists uh, that have an ax to grind. And a lot of them are linked to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, which really has no grounds to ever lecture anyone on human rights. So a lot of this needs to be taken with a grain of salt. And there's a lot of things that aren't being reported on. For example, in the Uyghur regions, there's been a huge amount of economic development. You know, the Chinese government has gone in there and started, you know, raising people up out of poverty. They've been building infrastructure. Uh, they've been increasing the level of employment, making sure there's good jobs there. And furthermore, what you're definitely not hearing in the media reports is how the Chinese government has been promoting Islam. Promoting Islam, right? In, in the Uyghur regions, the Chinese government has been sponsoring the construction of seminaries and mosques. They've been, you know, giving uh, platforms to imams. They've been doing a lot to promote Islam in the Uyghur provinces, but promote Islam that is not, you know, anti-communist. Islam that doesn't call for the violent overthrow of the Chinese government, but Islam that is, you know, sensible moderate Islam that, that is not the kind of thing that, that is being promoted by these extremists. And there is a real fear of extremists. Read about these knife attacks that have happened in China, where people get on trains and pull out knives and just start killing people in big numbers. They have a real fear. It seems pretty clear to me that there are some forces in the world today that are very, very determined to stop what China is doing around the world. The fact that China is doing the Belt and Road Initiative, building infrastructure in developing countries, raising people up out of poverty, this is a threat to the monopolies, the big bankers that control the world. They keep the world poor so that they can stay rich. China is challenging that global order. They are raising people up out of poverty. And a central part of China's Belt and Road Initiative is the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor that is opening up. This is huge. China and Pakistan are cooperating like never before. All kinds of construction projects, all kinds of efforts to really just, just light up that whole region. It's big. And it's pretty clear that Saudi Arabia and Wall Street and London want to stop the China-Pakistan economic corridor. And so they're doing everything they can to try and incite Muslims around the world to hate China. That, that's, that's basically what they're doing. All kinds of efforts are being made to get Muslims around the world to hate China. Now, I'm not saying that there aren't mistakes that are being made, and we're not on the ground. We don't know what's happening. But a lot of the things we're seeing in American media, they're, they're very, very sensational. Meanwhile, China is actually doing a lot to improve the lives of people in the historically Islamic regions, giving them opportunities, uh, giving them job training, building seminaries and mosques, you know, providing economic opportunity. And that's the side of the story that definitely isn't being told. And a lot of the, you know, the accounts we're hearing are very sensational and can't completely be verified. So I urge people to just calm down, right? I urge people to just calm down. Let's try to get to the facts. Let's try to find out what's actually happening. And let's remember that, that the way to stop terrorism is with jobs and schools and housing. Right? People turn to terrorism 
just like they turn to drugs and the drug narcotics trade. They turn to that when they don't have other options. And what China is doing in the world today by building infrastructure, uh, building trains and airports and hospitals and schools, this is really important. This is the way to get out of terrorism. The fact that China has a program in Afghanistan where they're enabling children to get operations and surgeries they wouldn't be able to get by just going over the Chinese border. The fact that China is trying to give port access to Afghanistan so that Afghanistan can have manufacturing jobs, this landlocked country in Central Asia, this is all unprecedented. China is basically paving the way for a world where we don't have terrorism and drugs and, and the horrors that we're, we're seeing. Um, the China uh, plan with Iran about trade and transport for Afghanistan to, to bring opportunities to Afghanistan to stop the drug trade, that's huge, right? Uh, the cooperation between China and Russia uh, in terms of economic development, that's huge as well. And that China's role in the world is very, very good. And it seems to me that there are some forces that would really like to stop what China's doing. And part of doing that is inciting Muslims around the world to have hatred and resentment uh, for the People's Republic of China. So I urge people to just kind of cool down, look for the actual facts, and take everything that the mainstream American media, and especially any media tied with Saudi Arabia, take anything they say with a grain of salt. Because, uh, you know, hysteria, you know, extreme emotions never really solves the problem, you know? Are mistakes possibly being made? Perhaps, but we don't know all the facts, and I urge people to slow down. And let's remember that at this point, the way to stop terrorism is with jobs and schools and housing, and that China's One Belt, One Road initiative is the best hope that humanity has at this point. So let's slow down and get the facts.